Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome to 2024. My name is Marjorie Waldo. I'm the CEO of Arts Garage, and this is Marjorie's Minutes for January of 2024. I have written it wrong on every accounting document that has come past my computer for the last five days, so I'm going to get it probably by March. I'll have the right year. Um, I want to tell you about a bunch of things, so I won't talk about each one for very long, but you know you can reach out to us if you have any questions and would like to know more. So our annual campaign was a really heartwarming um, effort by the community and our patrons and board members and donors. Um, we are at about $10,000 and still tallying the last few um, donations, and so we're really pleased with that. That's going to help us with our grant writing. Um, and uh, our volunteer parties and our professional videos. So thank you very much for that. I'm very grateful. Our whole team worked really hard on it. The marketing team did an amazing job. Our board members did an amazing job reaching out to all of you. And I'm super grateful, always. You may know that we've gone cashless as of January 1st. Know that we receive most of our ticket sales are done by credit card or debit card already. Uh, I'm going to say about 98% of our uh, ticket purchases and about 75% of our bar purchases are going through credit cards. So we anticipate it not being an issue, but we love you. And if we need to accommodate you because you do not have access to a credit or debit card, then we will happily take exact change, which will make it easier for us. We will not have a lot of change on hand to make change for you. So if you want to and are determined to pay by cash, we will accept exact change. So I don't want you to worry. Um, I want to remind you to save the date, March 23rd of 2024, for our annual fundraising gala, Studio 54. So most of you know that Studio 54 was this awesome club in New York, and was it was really all about disco. So it's going to be about that genre of music, lots of great music. The band Studio 54, ironically, also named the same thing is an 11 piece ensemble that is going to get you out of your seats and dancing. Um, you may wear whatever you wish. We have people dress in the style of the theme and we have people dress up um, for what is often called the party of the year in Delray Beach. So I hope to see you there. Tickets are on sale to the public on February 2nd. So watch for that, but put March 23rd on your calendar in the meantime. I'd like to thank our signature sponsor, um, um, Leaders Florida Living, who has made a top donation to sponsor the event, and we are still looking for other sponsors so that the um, any donations we receive the night of actually go back into the um, efforts we're making here at Arts Garage. Um, I invite you to take a look at the January issue of Atlantic Ave magazine. There's a really cool article about our turnaround story. Um, if you've been with Arts Garage for a long time, and many of you have, you know that I took over at the end of 2016, and we were in a, in a very uh, rough spot as an organization, and we've done an incredible job turning that around before the pandemic, sustaining ourselves during the pandemic, and exiting the pandemic stronger than we've ever been since the uh, first days of the organization. That's thanks to a lot of people, including you, loyal patrons, loyal donors, our board members, our team members here on staff. So check out the article. I really loved it, and it made me feel really proud, made me stand up taller. Um, there are three shows. We're working this theater piece, right? And um, comedy is going very well, by the way. Tonight is stand-up comedy, The Art of Laughter. We have Kristen Key, and we have sold the room out with 300 row seats. So I'm super excited about that. It's really um, fun to see it taking off. Kristen's going to be really hysterically funny, so I hope you're coming. Um, it'll be hard to get a ticket if you're not already purchased. We have three pieces coming up in the first quarter of the year that are worthy of a mention. The first is Delray Stories, and that is on January 20th. That is a collection of monologues written, uh, the stories are written by com local community members about aging, and then those 
uh, stories are crafted into monologues by professional playwrights, be brought to life on the stage by professional actors, and will be followed by a world premiere of the play Winter by Mark Scharf. Um, all of these stories, monologues, and uh, theater works center on different people's experience aging. So I encourage you to come check it out, hear from some of the life stories and experiences of local uh, people here in Delray and, um, and check it out, it's gonna be fun. On February 18th, well, I don't know if it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be really good. Um, as a 60 year old, which I'm now making a public number, which is very hard for me because I feel like I'm 40, um, it was hard. The stories are hard to hear, but there's something about the universality. Like my eyes filled up when I said that, right? So there's something about the universal universality of the theme that is compelling for me, even though it's difficult. There's something really important about the message for that evening. On February 18th, we have a new partner, the Intelligent Fools, which is a um, all black theater improv group. And they're gonna be doing a um, comedy improv uh, event called the Historically Black College Comedy Improv Show. So it's centering on the experience of being um, part of the historically black colleges and universities and we'll help you check that out. I think that is a really important um, look for all of us to see that particular experience for so many of our community and um, I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be hysterical. The two founders of this um, improv troupe, the Intelligent Fools, are brilliant and kind and passionate and really exciting. So I think it's gonna be a great show. The third one and last one I'll tell you about because I could talk forever, is on March 10th, the uh, Black Angels over Tuskegee. We have two large sponsors, Bob and Linda Schmier and the Channon Foundation, Nancy Channon, who are making it possible for us to turn the house into row seating like we're doing tonight with our comedian. It will allow us to um, bring in some uh, organizations like EJS and uh, the Knights of Pythagoras, Dupree Jackson and um, C. Ron Allen, as well as we're hoping some veterans groups and allow them to come see the show. Um, and oh, and the Spady Museum as well. So uh, if you know your history, you'll know who the Black Angels were. If you don't, please look it up and teach yourself about it and consider coming to see the show. It is a moving, and really powerful piece that is from a, um, a, a theater group in the Northeast. I say the Northeast because I don't remember exactly which city. So I hope you will check out something we're doing. I hope you're watching our progress and feeling proud because you've helped make it happen. And I cannot be more grateful. That's how I entered 2024 was feeling so thankful for the community in which I live and work. And um, I hope that it brings the new year nothing but joy, beauty, rainbows, and unicorns to all of you. Thank you.